We're Eamon and Beck, and for the past three years, we've traveled the world in our van, Trinity. But now that we're back in Canada without our home and stuck in quarantine, we're tackling the ever-daunting project of turning this into a brand new tiny home on wheels. Like, why on earth do we take on this crazy <laughs> It's project? almost like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> there's no amount of skill that'll help you. I'm on my way to a sunny day. I'm on my way. Come on, mate. I'm on my way. Don't stop me. Hola, senor. Hey, good morning. How are you? Maybe even some cabinets. So <laughs> I farted in here. Oh, did you ever? Oh. Okay, we're fed. It's time to get started on the ceiling. Just don't inhale. moving and grooving you've got to turn off the music to vlog one of the uh, trickier parts of getting in the flow What's of the van build. Of three and a half half of three and a half 1.75 fact check Alexa <laughs> I want to show you this in case some of you are planning on using this quarter inch tongue and groove. Every four or five boards is not usable. Have a look at the hockey stick at the end. Super warped. Oh my painting and sanding, that's so much work. I think we rip it and then we do a little piece in the corner. Does rip it mean just go up the boards? Yeah, on our table saw. Oh, Alright, let's rip it. Where? Pretty good cut, buddy. No, is this two inch? That's two inches there. Maybe this is the right one. <laughs> How is it? Not good. Take two? Much better? Take two, much better. You need me to help you, actually? Oh, wow. There we go. Boom, boom! <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for lunch, Beck. You're welcome. Thank you, Beck. So, yeah, we were just over lunch discussing just how much work there is still to do. We basically finished phase one, which is the foundation and all that stuff that isn't very visual. And now that we're starting the visuals, you'd think we'd be like, woohoo! But it's almost like, why on earth do we take on this crazy <laughs> It's project almost like, woohoo! <laughs> woo but the reason is, we honestly couldn't imagine not living tiny at this point. Which is why we're so excited to team up with Amaze again to give all of you a chance to win your very own customized tiny home built by Modern Tiny Living. You can fully customize the home of your dreams from a rooftop patio, a big kitchen, a guest room, Maybe not too many guest rooms, but... <laughs> I personally love the fact that with our van, we can live off the grid, so I would definitely be adding solar panels to my tiny home. When we moved into a van three years ago, we didn't know if we would survive our relationship. Well, 60 square feet is really tiny, especially if you're downsizing from a regular apartment or home. 
But once you get rid of all of those things that weigh you down, and it's freeing. You it feel is light. so you just, freeing. Yeah, which you, is why we're clearly addicted. You understand what's important, and it's such a cool way to live life. And the very best part is every single donation goes to support Path. Path is an organization that is working to end homelessness, and now more than ever, their work is helping to save lives. So head over to amaze.com slash E and B. Win yourself a tiny house. Woo! So exciting! Um, well, paint shop I was gonna say, since we can't win this tiny house, I think it's time we get cracking on our own. I can't believe that I painted all those boards the other day, and I still have quarter of the van. Better get to it, kid. Let's go. Say I'm the triple, honey, welcome to Trivago. Tell me who you know, who is it tripping for a follow? But all in the air like Showtime and the Apollo. Puffing up your chest, the next thing you know is hollow, but well, hello. I've been swinging like some jello. You got one in the fun guy, he gets some portobello, so I guess I need some grease up on my elbow. Got some cables. Do my best to mark out where I think they are. Put some holes in the wood. I'm sure as you can imagine sometimes the day can just start sliding away and we're getting work done and we're like whoa we haven't picked up the camera in a minute I think I've painted and sanded and painted and sanded another like a hundred boards or something that's good that would have been kind of boring to show you guys anyway I just never want to paint or sand again and then I'm just beginning I'm just beginning. well that's huge news though because now that the boards are painted yeah we can, we can finish. finish the rest of the ceiling yeah you guys might remember in the last episode where I put a three inch hole in the roof <laughs> for the extractor fan well we're getting to the point where I need to make sure this cable is there I'm gonna go back on the roof and then just try and cut through the wood it's a big saw and it's between two boards so it should be fine what if your hand comes through and I like go? Just, just hold on here. This board? Yeah. And here. Okay? okay. It's going to be right around here. Okay. And, um... I'm going to put my real good goggles on and a mask. Okay. <laughs> okay! Ready? Yeah! Oh, wow! Is that good? Nice! Everybody. Um, no, Congratulations, Beck. <laughs> thank, thank you, Mom. <laughs> thank you. I'd like to hear it from you one of these days. Hey, congratulations, <laughs> Beck. I wasn't doing anything. I was just picking my bum in the background. Yeah, true. Um, so yeah, the first order of business is finishing up the right side of this or the left side, depending on how you're looking at it, of the ceiling. Oh, my dad's got another idea. Finish the wall. Huh? Are we doing this or no? Yep. Like what, what was a problem and smooths it right out. It just gets rid of problems, smooths them down. Wow, might be my new favorite tool. Oh yeah, it's one of mine for sure. I like the way you move. I like the way you move. Everything you do. Everything you do. You ready? It's gonna fit in just like a glove. <laughs> yeah. When did you do it on the? Uh, on I always save the trickiest truck uh, cuts for the end of the day. That's yeah. my. When did you do it like straight and straight, and then use a, your thing to cut here, like make it a, a nice square cut? Let's see. So there's no real measuring going on, which I guess is concerning. You're just free balling it. How many takes will it take? A lot. Oh, good. Should I go make dinner? <laughs> take two. Take, three. take four. Okay, so we need to take about this much more off. Of what take is this? Six? I'm gonna run out of battery before this is done. Take 12. <laughs> Why don't we just make another one just for that? <laughs> there we go. 
And if you guys didn't quite understand what we were doing, we had mm. to, or Eamon had to, notch out this one piece of tenon group around. What is this even? This is actually a new feature on the 2015s. Oh. Yes. Um, door lock. Oh, door stopper. Yeah. Excellent job all around, Bob. Thumbs up, everybody. Eamon. Friends, we stoke. have a ceiling. Stoke level is 12. <laughs> What's your stoke level? 10. It's maxed out at 10, huh? <laughs> it's 8 o'clock at night. <laughs> 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 How are you doing, folks? It's a big day today for us. Okay. I'm Bob, by the way. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just excited. Lead all the lions, pick all the litter. I guess the strongest I'm alive and remain a victor. My battle scars are show that I am far from a quitter. Went through it all enough to strive and that makes me a winner. When it's me versus the crowd. What do you got there? On the wish list, Milwaukee. Look it up. <laughs> oh, Lord. Hello. <laughs> George, that's so nice to see you. I'm working, don't worry. See you, George. Hey, babe. I was just thinking, I'm not sure if you have gloves yet or not, have you? No, just warming up. Good morning! It's another sunshiny day! I'm so excited, I even wore my sunshiny pants! I want to introduce you to someone. Oh, no. <laughs> Petunia Lepothis! <laughs> I love it so much! Thank you! <laughs> Balance Petunia on the sheet. I love it. No, 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 no. Don't drop her. Amen. Don't drop it. Amen. Don't drop it. I hate this. <laughs> Feeling so excited um, how everything turned out yesterday. It's not what I want to say. Anywhere it's sort of imperfected. Can't speak. Something we definitely did not do in our first van build was take the time to really paint and sand and do a great job of, um, I guess those aesthetic things that take a long time, but I am positive it's gonna be well, well worth it. This is goes in great, perfect. I don't know, don't tell Eamon or Bob because I complain about the paint shop sometimes because they're doing all the cool stuff and I'm doing this. But I really do like these visually like satisfying jobs. She's always talking about San Francisco and how she never gets to go back home as much as she likes to. Tells me that I love I smelled the something pretty delicious from the van. Oh, you're too late, man. Well, let's go, man. It's all gone. 
There's one slice left. Someone was working hard out there, you know what I mean? Someone's got to. Somebody's got to do the painting, right? <laughs> I so figured. Nobody lined up to take No, exactly. Place. I'd I'd happily give it up for you guys. <laughs> it's 2 o'clock. I haven't even put the tool belt on, but I figure before we do, pizza. Oh. All right, what to work on next? After about six or seven or eight or nine slices of pizza, I'm feeling lethargic. But we got a beauty day, so finally, it's a little late, guys. It's like two o'clock, three o'clock in the afternoon. Sometimes you just gotta wait for the light to adjust while you're going in and out. Hey, back. What are you working on? First cut of the day. You know the temperature's getting nice when Bob pulls out his baseball caps. <laughs> his baseball caps and I got the work boots on. Oh, amen. Troubles melt away. Yeah. Oh. It's perfect weather. It can't get better. It's just another sunny day. Sunny day. Hey. Rolling with the top down. Yeah. California dreaming now. Wow. Cruising down the one on one. One on one. Everybody knows it's time to let go and have fun in the sun. Very nice. Hey, I thought you painted the wrong side for a second, Eamon. Yeah, I figured you would have that call. <laughs> That would have been really pissing you off, eh? Yeah, that looks good, man. Okay. Let's get some duct tape and we'll take that out. <laughs> <laughs> Just deciding on the measurements for our overhead cabinetry, both in the kitchen, and I think we're going to run it all the way along like we did in Trinity. You've got to make so many decisions when building a van, and... Are you on the middle edge? Like, you're on the edge, right? Sorry, about It's okay, but each one of the decisions affects the next decision, so we were like, trying to figure out where the cabinets were going and realize we've already decided where the lights were and the cabinets need to be on the outside. <laughs> oh, ow! I think you just put a sliver in my neck. Okay, it's okay. Where do you want this? You need it? No, no, I don't. Oh. Okay, things are a little hectic at the moment. Were you holding that while you were doing this? Yeah. All right, this is the tricky part, and you just really need luck for this. There's no amount of skill that'll help you, because even though there's nice ribs that we've got marked with the green tape, the ribs have holes. Remember, Bob? You either get lucky, or you go home. Oh, yeah. Jolly right. Oh, beautiful. Wow, that's three for three. Oh, that's Seven twenty PM. Definitely calls for Who are these? Buddies? These are buddies. <laughs> buddies! Buddies, can you open mine? <laughs> oh, these days are hard work. Whose feet is it that smells? I think it's mine and my shoes maybe. Disgusting. <laughs> Horrible. It could be yours. You gotta get some construction boots back. It's quarter to eight. I said I'm going home. Eamon agreed. And then you started doing this. What are you working on and why? Sorry, dude. I just... Uh, you can't help yourself. Yeah, You're working I just, on a wiring project. I was looking at the spaghetti bolognese coming out of the wall. <laughs> I started getting hungry thinking about spaghetti bolognese. <laughs> Nah, so yeah, I don't know why I started this, but I'm, I'm in it now, you know? Like, okay, there's no I'll way I'll see you I'm... back at home and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye, crazy kids! Good morning, America! And the rest of the world. I don't know why I said that. Just felt, felt good. Hi. Hi. I have a question for you. What? Um, I need to know... Not vlog related? Yeah. One sec. Uh, one sec to you. She's my priority. Oh yeah, by the way, my cleanup wasn't 
the best last night? It's the worst! <laughs> Babe! Oh, but that looks good. That's almost done. Baby, you didn't clean up at all. I know. Today the mission is to get the floor done. Now before we do that, there's a few things we need to do. One is mount where the heater plate is going, so I'm not installing the heater, but I'm gonna cut this plate out of the floor and mount that to the actual metal of the van. Once that's mounted, um, we also need to finish up the panels. Beck is doing another coat on the walls. I'm gonna cap these boxes off, and then I think we're good. You look cute today. This will be like the third or fourth or fifth S-Bar style heater that we've ever put in. Now we're actually going with Planar and I'll explain more details about why in another episode. But this is not the diesel install. And the big thing I've learned is instead of firing individual holes and really trying to muck around with it, you're better off firing one big hole, mount that down, and then we'll have a nice playing field to install the heater. Sweet. So we're gonna use a little bit of butyl tape to help bring up the floor so the plate sits flat. And then a trusty uh, PL construction adhesive to mount this plate on with some self-tapping screws. And you've got a nice little desk for that heater to sit on. We'll just do a quick test fit. Money! Woo! That's good. Awesome. Well, exciting stage. We should call it stage three. Or once this is done, stage three. Maybe. This We've got everything prepped. Beck and I just finished doing a few more tongue and groove pieces. It's going right down to the wall. Looks beautiful. We got the tops of the boards made for the wheel wells. I'm like sanded, painted, sanded, painted, and we're all good. It's time to put in the floor! <gasps> Whoa. Whoa. And we got a little surprise for you. Before we do the flooring, we've got to install our electric floor heater! Put it here, pal. Floor here. Scored these from Expedition Upfitter, and we'll talk more about them in the next vlog, but we will have a link if you guys want to pick a little set of these up. Uh, they're 12 volts heated floor and very, very efficient. So we're gonna have a monster battery bank, but this is gonna be a nice little option in the cold winters of North America. Okay, so we gotta kind of figure out how we're gonna lay these out. Yeah. We're gonna router out where the electrical cable's going so there won't be any kind of lip. And we're gonna join the other one once it's in and then to the wall. Okay, we want to show you guys a very satisfying floor piece. We are now flooring experts. Here's the crowd pleaser. Woo! Waffle. El Waffle. Wow, she is looking mighty fine. How do you feel, babe? On top of the world? I think I put the wrong We need one more box. So one more box four boxes for a 170 Sprinter. And we'll do a little RPS comp. For the I never win at this with you. Oh, paper, scissors. We've secured the very last box of the floor. Mission successful. Wow. Wow. It's Friday. It's Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Come on, Bob. It's Friday. And Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Friday. And Saturday, Sunday, Monday. We did good. We did wow. really good. Wow. Big weekend. 
big week. Holy no, smokes. No, I'm gonna have a big weekend. <laughs> a big weekend. Oh, like a, a party weekend or Editing, what? Editing, all this. Three <laughs> days of footage. It's editing. Oh, of editing. Woo! <laughs> Yeah, this is only like... Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, <laughs> boom, hit the thumbs up. It really helps our channel. And we'll see them Sunday? Oh, and we will see you Sunday for another massive week. Things are starting to feel see like you home. See you, folks. Any birthday reminders this week? It's been fun. No birthdays this week. <laughs> <laughs> Ciao.